in all the spring boot examples which we saw till now we always had the insecure http url let's try enabling https in a spring boot application using ssl press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss any update from tech primus as usual we are in the spring initializer start.spring.io let's try creating a https example i am going to choose 1.5.13 version of spring boot uh, the group id which i will be providing is com tech primus the artifact id let's call it as https example the dependency which we need to provide I wanted only the Spring MVZ. I don't want any other dependencies which are, because we are going to just create a um, basic project and by default Spring provides all the dependencies for the HTTPS related stuff. So let me unzip this particular project and let me open it in IntelliJ. The project has got imported now into the IntelliJ. Let me see what is the structure. We have a main class. Apart from that, we don't have anything else and under the resources, we have the application properties, nothing else. So let me try adding a basic resource. I'm not going to add any complex code here. I'll just add a hello resource. This is just going to have a rest endpoint. Uh, since we are using Spring MVZ, I'm going to use at rest controller. We will directly use the request mapping here and I'll just say hello. Also, we need one rest endpoint to return something. I'll just return a public string. Hello, return. Hello, YouTube. That's it. So I'm not going to do anything complex. When we hit this particular hello URL, right now by default it will be insecure, but we want to make it secure. So what do we need to do? Uh, I'm going to override the default port 8080 because I want to make it as a HTTP enabled port. So I'm going to use 8043. Additional to that, we have to provide some configurations in order to make Spring Boot use SSL. There are two different types of protocols, SSL and TLS. I'll explain that in a while. Meanwhile, uh, let's see what configurations are required in order to enable HTTPS in the Spring Boot application. So the first one would be the alias which we need to provide we need to provide an alias then we need to provide what type of um, uh, key store we are going to use so we need to say what is the key store type and also we need to provide the password for that key store so it will be key password so it will be directly key password it's not just specific to the key store but it is the um, the variable would be key hyphen password Additional to that, we need to provide the path of the file where it, this is going to reside. I'll just uh, say, uh, let's call this particular file as keystore.jks. Right? So we are going to create something called, uh, okay, let's call it as https example.jks. We are going to create a jks file. Uh, also, since this is a jks type, I'll just say jks is the type. Also, we can have uh, an alias as HTTPS example. So these are the um, uh, ones which we are going to provide and we are going to create it. So that's why I'm just filling it out now, now itself. But we need to create this particular JKS file. I'll show you how we can create this JKS file as well. And before creating these JKS files, let's understand what is what are the different terms which are used for securing a web service. So in order to provide a secure HTTP conne HTTPS connection, we can either use SSL or TLS. So SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer. This is just the industry standard which everyone has been using it for a while. And if you are using any HTTPS connection over the internet, this is useful when you, are, when you can secure your data using the HTTPS and you don't want others to peek into your information when you are transferring information from one end to another. So hackers can't see what is happening inside and they can't manipulate the data which is sent under the protocol. TLS is nothing but transport layer security, which is nothing but an advanced version of SSL, nothing else. It adds more features to what SSL adds. And today lots of certificates are 
created using these uh, TLS uh, authorities by default. So the certificate authorities like Symantec by default is creating TLS in the new certificates. And all these connections are happening over the HTTPS protocol. As you know, HTTPS is hypertext transfer protocol, which is secure. So HTTPS is secure. So we are using that. It is secured by the SSL certificate and it is a secure version of the HTTP. So HTTPS is nothing but a secure version of HTTP, nothing else. Additional to that, we need to know uh, what is a trust store and a key store. So trust store is when you want to store public certificates into the key store that is when you use trust store um, key store is useful when you want to store private certificates of the client or server for example uh, trusted uh, trust store certificates could be something like uh, google.com or something like a load balance certificate which will be public for everyone to view and key store certificates could be something like a common name for the server names which are specific to an internal server so those could be stored inside key store so certificate Related to private information will be inside key store. The certificates related to public information will be inside the trust store. So in order to enable the HTTPS, we need to create a self-signed certificate. That is what we provided here. So we provided some self-signed certificate information. We are going to create this certificate right now. So let's go to the terminal. We can create a self-signed certificate using the tool called key tool so key tool is going to help us in generating this particular certificate additional to the key tool we need to tell key tool that generate a key so we need to provide gen key so this is going to generate a key and what is the alias for the key we already have put the idea alias here https if an example i'm going to use the same example https if an example additional to that we have mentioned what type of uh, key store we need so we just say key store type we just say store type and jks then what else we need we need the file name finally right so we need to provide key store and https example.jks this is what we need what else do we need we need to also provide uh, the algorithm with which we are going to create this particular certificate. We are going to say key alg uh, RSA. By default, we are going to use RSA. We are going to provide the key size as, uh, let's say, 2048. Also, how long is it valid for? Let's say it's valid for 365 days. I'll just say 365. Now, when I press enter, it's going to ask me to provide the password. So I'll provide the same password which we had. So let's click the enter button. See that right? It's asking me to enter a key store password. I'll just say password because that is the password which we have entered here. So I'll just say the same password. It's asking me to confirm the same. I'll confirm the same. Uh, what is the first name and the last name? I'll just say tech primers or I'll just say spring boot. Spring boot, right? What is the name of your organizational unit? Let's say it is technology. What is the name of your organization? It is Tech Primers, let's say. What is the name of your city and or locality? I'll just say Bangalore, state, Karnataka, country in two letter code. I'll just say IN. So this is going to create a common name OU technology O is Primers, Tech Primers, location is Bangalore, and the state is Karnataka, and the country is India. So that is what this means right so when we create the certificate this will be the alias and these are the different sub names which are related to that particular certificate so i'm going to say yes and this will create a certificate uh, before that it is asking enter the key password for the https i'm going to say reuse the same password i'll just say return so it uses the same password as the key store password so we are not going to use a different password now the jk is got generated but i have uh, the jk is in a different place I'll just move this JKS to my code where I have HTTPS example slash SRC main resource. I'll just move it to SRC main resource. This should now come here. Yeah, you see that this file has now come here. Let's try cleaning the project. So that's all we need. We don't have to do any additional coding inside. We just need to provide some configurations in the Spring Boot application 
and we need to create a certificate if you already have a secure certificate provided in your company you can reuse that certificate and load it into your spring boot application and make it available as a https service so that is the only thing which we need to do so we don't have to have any other java code as such so let's see if the build is complete yeah build is completed what does it say there is a it says what did i use java 9 okay i need to use java 8 i always miss moving java 9 to java 8 every time i create a project let me do that again i'll just clean and install again so that we are using java 8 The build is successful let's try running the application i'll just say run from the main class so this should bring up the application and the application should be running under the port 8443 so that is the port which we have provided here it should automatically come and yeah if you see here the spring boot application is up and uh, you can even see the hello resource see this right hello resource is also there hopefully let's see if we are able to hit it using https or not first what i will do is i'll try using http i'll try using localhost 8443 with http right let's try doing that see it says bad request the combination of host request tls so it is by default asking me to provide a protocol so notice that it works only with https however my browser is saying that the certificate is not valid because this is a self-signed certificate the chrome uh, might not be able to validate if the certificate is good because i self-signed it so i just proceeded with the exception and it says hello youtube so we are able to access the spring boot application using the https url let's check if this is our certificate or not if you go to certificate it will show the certificate see see that this is the name of the certificate which we provided if you click on the details option this is going to provide what all details we gave see this right we provided india karnataka bangalore tech primers technology spring boot so these are the details which we provided and we created the certificate and we can see it right so which is which confirms that it is loading our jks file whatever we asked spring boot to load into so that is all working fine now so this is how you can enable a https um, protocol in the spring boot application if let's say you want to uh, see the contents of the certificate you can use this uh, key tool to say key tool hyphen list key store and provide the key store if you provide the https hyphen. so if you provide the key tool list store it will ask you for the password and if you give the password it will just show you the certificate see this right it just shows you what is the common name when is the uh, certificate created and it shows other information as well if you provide hyphen v it will just i think it will show it in verbose let me do a password okay yeah it shows in verbose it extracts everything and shows see this right it shows up the common name whatever we created when is the certificate expiring see that the certificate is expiring in 365 days it's just 2019 right so this is how you can use key tool to see what is there in the certificate and you can create or generate certificates and you can load it into the spring boot application by using these configurations you can use server.ssl with the key alias the type of key store the password and also the finally the key store file so this is how you can enable HTTPS in a Spring Boot application. I hope you guys understood um, how we can enable HTTPS in the Spring Boot application. As always, this particular code will be uploaded into the GitHub repository. You can uh, get the sample from the GitHub repository. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to it. Meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.